one exciting new piece for band in 2011 and was commissioned by the American Composer Instrument Board. The piece incorporates specific band student requests from student at Betsy Ross Barts Mag Magnet School with whom Mr. Theopan Dietis workshop the piece. For example, the trumpets wanted to use mutes and the percussion section requested the use of a drum set. The title of this work comes as a response to the student's love of jazz and fit perfectly for us on the year we had the opportunity to travel to the birthplace of jazz. Theo Benedis looked to the work of the great jazz cornet player, King Oliver, Louis Armstrong teacher, who wrote a piece called Sweet Like This, of Sweet Like That. Series editor Thomas C. Duffy wrote, It is exuberant, joyful, or the rhythm gospel. It is a song of the American street, instruments of doo and urban march. We hope you'll enjoy this as much as we have enjoyed learning it. Thank you.
The Appalachians, stemming from independence, we represented one of America's first frontiers and frontier music became one of the first truly American forms of musical expression. Promising opportunity, the, re the region of Appalachia attracted hardworking immigrants, mostly from Britain, who found their home and settled down in the region. Bringing with them folk music from their homelands, instrumental music became very important to these communities. We would come together for dances, and the single most important instrument was the fiddle. In this arrangement, you'll hear these fiddle tunes played by many different sections of the band, including one moment where two birds of Agnes pick on piccolo, combined to play the melody for us. Included in this arrangement are four infectious fiddle tunes, including After the Battle of Logan and Lord Manuel the First. Both Irish in origin and bone of the herd, crossing the Rocky Mountains, along with whiskey before breakfast, which are both adapted from the old time fiddle tunes. Please enjoy Appalachian Jam. Thank you. 
song of lavish praise is based on the tune that Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing, a Christian hymn written by the 18th century pastor hymnist Robert Robertson. The delicate, sweet melody of the opening has a music box quality up to it, featuring our percussion section and our group. Guest performer and graduating senior Christian Waker. Before long, the piece transforms itself into something heroic and spirited, building a tomb and more. In the end, the percussion section brings back the crystalline texture of the opening, and the song ends with the music box wine to stop. The piece features Riley Woodikit on flute and George Williamson and Owen Kunder on trumpet. Please enjoy a song of God's praise.
Thank you so much for coming tonight and uh, being with us. The first, I, I have a couple bits of gratitude and a, and a little bit to tell you about how amazing these students are. Um, and first of all, you can hear it. Right? Who's, who's our first concert? <laughs> the slope of growth with this band is straight up. And um, it's just been amazing to me and so eye-opening and uh, they have taught me so much uh, this year and uh, just in music and as people who they are becoming and thank you for all all of you that are playing such a huge role in that all the band students all the families all of you here tonight to witness and so great so great um one of the things that i learned quickly in a con walk in my first year here is that this district and this fan program that these students own is about not just yourself, but it's who we are. So I'd like to celebrate every single band student. If you, as, as a band member, have come down and hung out with concert band, you've played in a, in a, a concert with us, you've um, come down and taught a lesson, or just hung out in a section, or given up a study hall to hang and, and study with us, stand up, and I'd like to give you a thank you. So if you're in the band right now, if you're sitting in the seats, Band Awards Banquet that is coming up on Sunday. I hope you'll all come to celebrate us more in depth. Um, but I did feel like the entire student body and all of us need to know a couple of really big things that are happening right here in Akamwa. Um, because believe it or not, this is, you are, it feels like it, and you're right. This is the program that music educators and other band programs look to. We get calls, how are you doing this? What are you doing with this? And Econolog sets the bar, and we do it with hard work and loving each other. It's just very, very amazing. And the first amazing thing I have to point out is I went to my first jazz dance. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. Yeah, so, so I'm going to ask, uh, we recognize everyone in Jazz 1, Jazz 2, Nature Hill, Silver Lake, if you are here and you're part of the jazz program, please stand up. I want to recognize you. <laughs> but if you're not there, make sure you get your ticket next year. You do not want to miss this. Um, and the, the generosity from all of you that have that did come and support us, it's record breaking. And I'm not gonna give away the number, but I'm just gonna say uh, it's it's a lot, it's more, it's um I'm so amazed. I'm so amazing and filled with gratitude. And I'd like to thank specifically the Jazz Dance Committee, if you could stand up, Kit Daly, Jen Wallace, Krista Miller, Carissa Farr, Jill Wolfoyle, and Sarah Carlson. Um, and, okay, so uh, a couple more things about these students that are really important for all of, all of you to know, as, and, and many of you do, but um, we are so proud to celebrate here uh, that every single band member is a part of District Soul Ensemble. Every single one. So if you are here tonight, that is an achievement that not every high school band 
our program gets to um, celebrate. And raise your hand if you were invited to participate at the state festival. Go and raise your hand if you were invited or you did participate in the state festival. Yeah. Festival, every judge has an opportunity to recommend an exemplary performance. Ra raise your hand if you were, and you only have so many we can recommend that as an exemplary. So raise your hand if you were recommended for an exemplary performance nomination at the State Soul Ensemble Festival. <laughs> and of those, only a few are selected. So now go ahead and stand if you've earned an exemplary nomination at the State Soul Ensemble Festival. Go ahead and stand. <laughs> All of the people who stood up and listened to <laughs> And now, the last, and the, this is something that is so important for everyone here to know, the highest honor, in my opinion, in the state of Wisconsin, and that I know of that uh, as far as nationwide, that we can be a part of at the high school level that we have available to us every year is the All State Honors Program. We have a middle level honors, we have a high school level honors, and um, it's like this if you are a mobile player selected to be in the All State Honors and there are four seats, then up against every oval player that is the best in the state of Wisconsin, you are the, one of the four best oval players in the state. And so if you're in this group, if you were in it last year, and you represented us at middle level honors or high school honors, and if you are have been selected to be a part of it this year, go ahead and stand up so we can celebrate you. <laughs> and the last thing is really important to me. Um, I'm going to ask the seniors everywhere to stand up. Wherever you are, stand up, seniors. for the senior leadership to welcome and accept that person. And all of you here will probably not be surprised to know that these, these kids um, did, it, did it better and faster and, and were more welcoming than you could have imagined. So thank you seniors for welcoming me into your world and being willing to share the true meaning of the legacy of the Conwalk Band program that you have built here. Um, you're each gonna go do amazing things in the world, and no, literally nothing makes me feel safer about the world today than having a met each of you. Um, and no matter what the future brings, please know you always have a home here with us. I love you. So our next conductor, we give it back to the kids here, and our, one of our leaders right here in the concert band um, is the amazing Agnes. Uh, Shane's her, and she, you guys, when I first started in concert band, she, she was the first one to walk up to me and say, what do you need, how can I help? And so when I offered her a piece of music, she jumped at the opportunity, and she has taught them like a, a pro she is. Please welcome Agnes.
And finally, the great strain, or what is called the dog fight, which is a musical reference to aerial fighter plane battles. And this will be brought to you by our power to low grass section. Please enjoy the for it.
Thank you so much. Thank you for being here tonight. I'm going to just quickly echo what Mrs. Hart said to all the students that make this place so special, to make the concert band, the middle school programs, all these bands, the jazz bands, the concert groups. It's pretty phenomenal. All those students that you, were, you just heard were in the honors bands, that's just not normal. You just don't see that. There's high schools that go five, six years without having one student ever nominated uh, to be in an honors band. So congratulations, first of all. Let's give it one more round of applause. So Mrs. Hart, I just saw Mrs. Hart's Johnny in the hallway, and uh, he was so excited. And I said, "Hey, Bruce Morning comes, so he's going to stick around. That's good." Uh, so we're we're having fun. So that first piece is just so joyful and exciting by Sam Hazel, full of rhythmic variants and great melody. This next piece is written by a wonderful composer, Julie Jerome. And this piece is Fields of Gold, and it, it describes when Superman, the alien boy, first landed in, in her vivid memories of the movie from the fields of gold, where he's like in the farmland. And she said it just left this lasting impression. So this piece of music will kind of describe, if you remember seeing with what Christopher Reeves, when that first movie came out around about 79, 70, I can't remember, 8, 79. None of us are that old, but hopefully it conjures up some memories of that movie when you first went to see it, Fields of Gold. And by the way, I would like to just give a special thank you ahead of time to our wonderful accompanist tonight, Mrs. Seafeld on the piano. Let's give a big warm round of applause. Thank you for joining us for the Thank you. 
So I know Mrs. Hart, she recognized the seniors in particular in each of these bands. Let's have these folks be recognized. We'll, we'll save our thunderous applause till after the last senior rises again on Sunday at 1 o'clock. We're going to celebrate all these wonderful students. Michael Bressel, please stand. Anthony Busateri, please stand. Ashley Jans, please stand. Marie McKenna, who just moved here this year, by the way, for Pius as a senior. And Marie, holy cow, you just added so much awesome energy. Thank you. Ro, Ducky Gun, please stand. And finally, Jason Powell. Thunderous applause for these incredible seniors that give us their strength.
We had one now for you. I think 1903, the first flight took place in Dayton, Ohio. This piece was written exactly 100 years later to celebrate the Wright brothers' achievement. In the beginning, it's very sparse, I meaning not a lot of things are taking place, but you're going to hear interesting techniques blowing through instruments. You're going to hear all kinds of beautiful things coming from the piano, all kinds of individual souls, and then it turns into a ragtime piece. Why? Well, ragtime music was pretty prevalent along that time period. So we hope you enjoy, if you can conjure that first airplane going up, maybe some, I'm just curious, how many of you ever flown an airplane by yourself? Or maybe a co-pilot, pretty cool. So you know what this feels like, right? So I'm super proud of this symphonic band. Some of these pieces that we just put before you're about to play are pieces that are normally given to the wind symphony. Uh, some colleges are playing these pieces. I'm really proud of them for taking on the challenge. I hope you enjoy it. We'll bring the wind symphony up afterwards. And uh, thank you for being here.
Session. And an extra applause also for Peter Salgado, if you need an extra recognition on that solo on the third. <laughs> Alright, thank you so much. We're going to bring up Wynn Symphony next. The fun band, fantastic job. Wynn Symphony, get comfortable, uh, warm up, and then we'll get to it. Thank you. 
All right, we have a great, great opportunity tonight for three incredible concerto performers. But before we do that, we thought we'd mix in one of those pieces that Mrs. Hart talked about. We had several groups that made it to stay and received one of the highest honors. We're going to feature one of those groups that have been working really hard. It's our percussion section. And uh, like all these groups, in this group, in, in this Wix, there's many seniors. And we have three outstanding seniors, if I can go by memory. We have Christian in the back there. We have Bryson, we have Molly, we have three seniors that have just been so dedicated. We're going to feature them in a percussion feature entitled Layers. And hopefully you hear why it's titled that. It's all over the place, just like that last piece with all kinds of meters. 6 4, 2 4, 3, if you name it. But it's a lot of fun. Layers. Close, or getting close, just you can tell we have about 30 or 40 inch coming. Thank you. 
Concerto and performer. Um, this young lady is a phenomenal clarinetist, has been in the State Honors Program, has been nominated for exemplary soloist, takes private lessons, plays saxophone incredibly well, great soloist, all styles, but just an all in all incredible person, incredible player. We're going to bring up Miss Lily Johnson to play the Mozart clarinet concerto.
Okay, once again, Lily Johnson. That is a phenomenal, wonderful and for our next concerto performer, Nora, Nora Hannon next to me, a fantastic horn player is going to the University of uh, Eau Claire on a scholarship to perform in the horn studio. Lily, by the way, just made a decision to go to Madison. As of recent, I just found that out. So Lily's going to the University of Madison where she'll be performing as well. And Nora is going to uh, also be, she's involved with the uh, jazz ensemble and trumpet and French horn, and we look forward to featuring her. Nora Hannon. Thank you. 
difficult decision. We have many, many qualified students and they audition and it's very difficult. These three students have definitely earned this top honor. Jordan as well is headed to the University of Madison where she will be playing clarinet but also focusing on other areas other than music. Um, and as well as Lily and Nora, multitasked plays uh, clarinet, also plays a lead alto and second alto and jazz band and it does many other things. So we will enjoy performing the concertino with Jordan Hay.
Thank you. Lily Johnson. Go ahead and go to me, everybody. Thanks for hanging in there. I, mean, it's, I know that's a lot, a lot to take in. You know, most of the music we listen to today lasts, what, two minutes on the radio, two or three minutes? So you got to have a little patience. So I really love the fact that you are, are listening to all this great music. So, as they are setting up, and percussionists, if you're not a senior, can you guys get that out? So, just like we talked about, Mrs. Hart mentioned all these incredible seniors. <laughs> They don't really give a lot to the band program. They give a lot to this community, the school. They're so involved with sports and clubs and every activity under the sun. They do it all and yet find time to do this during AP exams. We have not had one rehearsal where everyone could be here for over two weeks because some days you have six to eight to 10 students gone and then they manage to do this. We're really proud of them. Uh, these following seniors, please stand. We'll save the applause, thunderous applause for the last name. Ruby Bloom. Caitlin Flood, Carson Fuller, Nora Hannon, Jordan Haney, Lily Johnson, Nora Kenziora, Andy Kuzba, Bryson Marquardt, Lucas Miller, Mason Parr, Morgan Pryfel, Macy Rodekirk, Molly Sand, Ryan Sullivan, Christian Whitaker, and Tyler Wood. Let's give it up for the class. <laughs> Incredible musicians, but even more incredible people to the parents and the grandparents and the guardians that have raised these wonderful people. You've done a great job. Congratulations. All right, we've got one more for you. And it's Praise Jerusalem by Alfred Reed. It's a classic. It's been around forever. We hope you love it. Hope to see you on Sunday at 1 o'clock at our banquet. Memorial Day. We have jazz at the beach. We have Imagine the Day Friday. Uh, we're still winding up. All right, so hope to see you. Thanks for an incredible year. Thanks for all the great support. Thanks to the Band-Aids. Thanks for all the wonderful parents. Thanks to the Jazz Committee. Uh, treat yourself some goodies afterwards in the lobby. Here's our last one. Praise Jerusalem. Thank you.
<laughs> you've raised great musicians, but you've raised even better people. One more time for the Wind Symphony, everybody. And this fantastic percussion session. Congratulations to the Symphonic Band. This is Hard in the Concert Band, the Wind Symphony, all the concerto performers tonight. Thank you for an incredible year of support. Keep those great gifts coming. Thank you for all you do. Go enjoy some goodies. We get to leave the chairs and stands for the orchestra. We just have to bring back percussion. Thank you all. Have a great night.